what's up YouTube this is Sam back with another video and today we are going to be reviewing a couple of things that I really enjoy and this will be probably my last video um, for a week um, because of the fact that I am going away for spring break I'm gonna go have some fun um, for spring break but uh yeah, I know most people's spring breaks were last month, but ours was really late. Um, it happens to be the 15th, the, uh, at, at like 12 o'clock, the 15th is when we get out of school. And I am in high school. Um, through the 20, 25th is when we come back. So as you can see there, I have it focused towards the uh, rock band drums. Um, now, I will bring my phone with me, by the way, and record maybe one or two crappy little videos, but uh, I will not have my flip HD with me. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be doing a comparison of all of the rock band versus Guitar Hero equipment. Now, the reason why I'm not doing the microphone in this video is because there's no point. The microphones are exactly the same. The only difference is one says rock band, one says Guitar Hero. Um, okay, so let me pick up my, my, uh, my camera, and we'll look at these. Now, here's the Guitar Hero drum set, and you've got your yellow pad, your orange, your red, blue, and green. On the other hand, where you have your red, yellow, blue, and green. Now, first thing we're going to talk about is the, uh, the noise of the pads. So I'm going to take one of my sticks. I do not use the rock band sticks, I use on stage sticks, not the best, but you know they're only a couple bucks on eBay and I have other sticks for my real drums, but these are just really hard here. Um we're gonna make noises. This uh this guitar hero drum kit it has only been uh played once because uh my other one broke and I just got this one. As you know from the video I made, or was it yesterday or the day before? Now this one on the other hand, I play rock band all the time and I love this. So yeah, let's, let's do a noise comparison. Now I'm going to use the red pad right here and the green pad to make the noise comparison. So yeah, let's do this. I'm going to do it harder so you guys can hear more noise. Uh, honestly, to me, it sounds like, um, you can hit this one, these pads softer, but if you're playing really hard and really fast, you, these are quieter. Just depends on what kind of song you're playing. Yeah. Next category is going to be the sticks. Not the sticks that you get because they're all the same. But the way you hold the sticks, or the way, not the way they hold the sticks, but the way the sticks are held on each drum kit. <sighs> Let's start with the rock band drum kit. Now, at first we have these little, let me show you, we got these little tabs right here that you guys probably can't see. But you pull them up like that. Two tabs right there. And you just set your drumsticks in, bada boom, bada bang, you walk away. Even though that's not how I put my drumsticks in. And then when you're done, you just push them back in. Now, now this one, you flip out these in the front, throw your sticks on. Obviously, this isn't the way I hold my sticks. I mean, put my sticks, but yeah, there you go. Now, the only bad thing with this is, let's say you have another pair of sticks, or like with me. Uh, I'm taking these over to my grandma's house, not these ones, but the rock band ones, um, because they're easier to put away and take together. Um, but this, these sticks, right? They got nylon tips. They're real drumsticks, okay? I don't want my little eight-year-old cousin coming over and banging on these things as hard as she can, because I know she's going to come over. Um, she comes over every day. Um, to my grandma's house, which is probably where I'll be staying. Or, well, not probably, it will be where I'm staying. Um, because I'm going out of the city. I'm not going, uh, you know, like a block away. I'm going out of the city. Um, not bringing, but 
I don't want her to use my nylon tip sticks and bang on these as hard as she can. So I'll probably use the crappy ones that came with it. Um, I have an, my old set from the old one. Uh, the ones that are like totally chipped to the tips. So that'll work better. Um, yeah. So honestly, the, um, now let's say you're doing that and you don't want to use these sticks. So I set these right here. Oh, nope. Can't play when they're there. If I set them right here, you can just bang on. You don't have, they're not in the way of the drums. I don't have them out extended, but they're not in the way of the drums at all. And they just sit there. So I'm going to give the points to this rock band drum set. So that's one, one. Next, we're going to go for foot pedal. Now let me pull this foot pedal out a little bit. And here's the foot pedal for the rock band, I mean, the Guitar Hero kit. Now, as you can see, I'm going to set my foot on it, and I'm barely bouncing my foot. Let me see if I can get that height in there. But I can barely get my foot in there. I mean, I, I mean, not that I... It just barely bounces. It does not feel like a real drum pedal. Um, and it barely bounces at all. Now, with this kit, not only do you have a nice metal drum foot, foot pedal... And it actually feels like you're actually hitting him. You got these little bars right here. Where you can hook it up to. Um, now I know this is the Rock Band the Beatles drum kit, but it's the same as the Rock Band 2 drum kit, so yeah. Um, now, next, we're gonna talk. Okay, so I'm gonna give that point to the Rock Band drum kit, so that's 1 2, or 2 1. Um, so we're gonna give this next one, we're gonna talk about the symbols. Um, and the symbols. Where are they at? Okay. So, Guitar Hero has two symbols right out of the box, which work as notes. And Rock Band has no symbols. You use the green pad as a symbol, sometimes the blue as a symbol. Okay, so you have no symbols, basically. Now, here's what, we, here's what you do. You've got your Guitar Hero drum kit, which has two symbols. Can never be uh, upgraded because it's already upgraded. You know, it's it's got it out of the box. Now these ones come with pro symbols for about forty bucks. That you can buy for them. And now I know people said on Rock Band Two they do nothing, and that is true. Um, when you get the new symbols, it uh, actually gives you a new yellow. Gives you, I believe, it gives you a yellow, blue, and green. But let me double check. It gives you another yellow symbol that actually sits up here, up like right here. A green symbol that sits up here, and then I mean, a blue symbol that sits like right up here, and then a blue symbol that sits right up here. Now, in Rock Band 2, you could just choose which one you wanted to hit. It's kind of cool. But in Rock Band 3, they have the Pro Drums feature where you'd actually these would be squares like on the regular Rock Band, and the symbols would be circles. So you'd be and you'd be like ching. So yeah, um, symbol wise, out of the box, I'm going to give it to Guitar Hero. Um, let's see, yeah, I'm going to give symbols out of the box to Guitar Hero, so that's 2-2. Two, two. Uh, now, my last um, comparison is going to be cross compatibility, which drums are appropriate for each game, no. Okay, so I, I'm gonna have to make this video into two parts. Um, I'm gonna have to do the guitar comparison in a second, separate video. So yeah, as you can see here, here's compatibility. You've got these are both Xbox 360, by the way. Um, you've got your okay. So if you're using these on Rock Band, you obviously have your four pads here but you don't have a symbol so this guy is gonna sit there not be used this guy though this one this one and this one they will all be used um so yeah works good um it feels kinda awkward um the foot pedal does work um everything works 
Now, on the other hand, on this one, if you use it on Guitar Hero, um, you have a limited, uh, what's, what's the word? You have a limited area of notes, limited runway. Okay, um, it gets, it eliminates the orange pad because it knows you have the, and you do not have the orange pad. So, it gives you just these four notes, okay? And, and if you're eliminating, um, the orange simple, obviously something's gonna give. So, um, it's not as good with cross compatibility, but it still does very good. Now, the reason why I'm gonna give this one to the Rock Band drum set, um, wait, no, no, never mind. Um, uh, I, I had a reason, um, but then I realized it worked for both of them, so I'm gonna give the compatibility to the Guitar Hero drums. Now, I, I'm sorry I said this last time, but this is my last one. Now, the reason why Rock Band drums are way better than Guitar Hero drums, they don't break. These things can be pounded on as much as you want to pound on them, and they rarely break. And these ones, on the other hand, you pound on them. And uh, they start to break. A lot of them have an issue with the red pad right here breaking, uh, not responding whatsoever. Also, they have an issue with these symbols either not responding, this yellow one, or double um, stroking. So, yeah, that's really it for the final thing. Um, so, that is the rock band versus guitar hero drums. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.